Hi everyone! I am going to do a really short tutorial for a specific project that I have, which is a project-based learning experience for high school and middle school students on biotechnology, um, renewable resources specifically. And what this project-based learning experience asks students to do is a few things, one of which is to map regions of the globe, um, of this map, the world map, that would be suitable for a specific renewable energy that they chose to study. So for the sake of ease, I'm going to pretend I'm a student that chose wind as my renewable energy. And I'm gonna show you how I would go about highlighting regions of the map that would be optimal locations for wind power. So um, that's one piece of this resource. If you're interested in this resource, and you're not a student who's watching this, maybe you're a teacher who's looking to get more Google Maps into their curriculum. Um, this resource is linked in the description of this video. And I also linked a blog post on all of the ways that I like to use Google Maps with my students, specifically for project-based learning, but it's kind of open-ended and can go across the board. So the link, that link is in my description as well. I encourage you to go check that out. Um, but this tutorial specifically is going to be about students that have this biotechnology resource, um, how to create the final product that I'm asking them to create in this resource, which is one Google map with a few specific features sprinkled into it. So what I'm first going to show you is how to create that map and how to highlight regions of the map that are optimal for renewable energy sites. So. You need to be at googlemaps.com and signed into your Google account, which I already am. So at that point, you'll come on over here to the navigation menu, click on that and find your places, click on that, and then scooch over to the maps. These are all maps that I've created already. You may not have any here and that's okay. You're going to create a new map anyway. So click on create map and a blank map will pop up untitled and I'm going to start by giving it a title and a description. So this map is going to be called optimal locations for wind turbines. Okay and just to be clear I think the students that are doing this project understand that what you're mapping is not where wind turbines necessarily already exist. It's just to highlight areas of the world where they could exist, where it would be a really great suitable location for wind energy. Um, and that might be based on wind speed in that region, it might be based on landscape and climate and a variety of other factors that you as a student have studied up to this point. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna put in a quick description. This map includes suitable wind turbine sites based on climate and landscape. It also includes a link to an animation and a user guide for wind. Those of you that already have this resource know what I'm talking about here. Um, these are three things that you are being asked to do asked to create um, using one map. So you're gonna put all of these things, the links to the animation and the user guide, and highlighting specific regions right here on this map. So I'm gonna save that. Okay, we only need one layer, I think, for this, because what you're doing is highlighting 10 areas in the world that are suitable for your renewable energy that you chose to study. Again, I am going to focus on wind. You may not have and that's okay. So I know from experience living in the Midwest and from research, let's pretend I'm a student, that there is really great space or opportunity for wind turbines in southern Minnesota. It's flat, it's wide open, there's huge fields, there's no obstacles in the way, um, there's no forest really, no big cities. Um, so I am going to highlight this region as one of my 10 spots that would be an ideal location for wind turbines. So I'm going to go up to this little tool right here, draw a line, 
and I'm going to add line or shape. And I want to, I want more than a line. I want to highlight this whole region. So what I'm going to do is click, 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 click this whole section. Um, it is a much bigger section than what I'm creating, but this is just to give you an illustration of what I'm doing here. And then to close off this box, I'm going to click on this final spot right here. And you can see it highlighted itself. And I'm going to call this Southern Minnesota Insight. I don't recall it being power site. And then in this description here, I am going to write what makes it a suitable place for wind power. Southern Minnesota is um, spacious with wide open fields, few obstacles, and, and by obstacles I mean cities, um, forest, that kind of thing, and high wind speed. So this is a perfect place for it. Okay, so I click save and I'm gonna change the color because gray is difficult to see. Let's make it orange. You can add a picture or a video if you'd like. Um, you can really get more specific with this description. I'm just doing it for the sake of time, just kind of quickly. Okay, so we're gonna click out of that and that will save there. Okay, I know another area from research for this project that is a good site for wind turbines is the Northeast shoreline. We're gonna go offshore Rhode Island. Um, again, it's a wide open expanse. Wind speed is high offshore. Um, there's no obstacles in the way and so on. So we're gonna do the same thing we just did with Southern Minnesota. We're gonna add a line. Um, I'm not being at all specific here, and I think you should be, but I'm just doing this to speed things up a little bit. Same idea, offshore turbines, um, northeast U.S. Again, few obstacles, wide open space, high wind speed. And then I'm going to change that to, let's do... I think, oh, that didn't work, I think, okay, click out of that and I could again add a picture or video to enhance that experience. Okay, and so then I will continue to do that eight more times. So I'm going to have across the globe 10 sites like this. It doesn't have to stay within the confines of your own country. It doesn't even have to stay in your continent. The idea is that you really explore suitable sites across the world. And so then you should have, by the time you're done with that, 10 different regions listed here. And again, these aren't regions where wind turbines necessarily exist already. There might not be wind turbines there, but um, maybe there should be. So it really is just showing what parts of the world would make good sites for wind energy. Okay, so I showed you how to do this piece of it. The other piece is the animation. You're going to go and create an animation. You know this part. It's written into your resource. And then you're going to produce either a video or a link. If you produced a video, you can zoom in to any one of these and add your video that way. What I would recommend is that you upload your video to YouTube and produce a link and then go back into here. Um, I just, I don't know if you saw what I did there. I just clicked on the title and it came back up and you can add your link here. Um, and then you won't be able to see this, but when I save it, an actual link will appear here that viewers can just click on and it'll take you right to take them right to your video. Um, and then the same thing for your guide, the guide that you're going to create using Google Slides will also produce a link and your resource shows you exactly how to do that. But you'll do the same thing. You'll click in here, add your viewable link to your guide. And 
when you save, I didn't actually put a link in there, so it's not going to do anything, but when you save it, the link will pop up here in blue and users will be able to click on that and go directly to your guide. So that is how you create the final product that I'm asking you to create for this project experience. That's how you do this. That's how you create this map. Important piece of project-based learning is sharing your new skills and knowledge or your final product authentically. So you share your final product with an authentic, relevant audience that could really use this, that has an investment or an interest in this. So in this case, for this resource, your goal or your purpose is to help guide home and business owners in making a transition to renewable energy. And this resource that you created gives them the tools and the information to better do that. So what you need to do is make this map accessible to the public or accessible to those that are relevant to this final product. So how we do that is go to share and we're going to enable, well, let's first make this public. Oops. I guess we can't do that first. Okay, so enable link sharing. That means that you can click on this link or you can copy this link here and you can send it to anyone who you think could benefit from this information. It might be a family member, um, a friend who owns a business who's looking to move to renewable energy. Um, it might be a teacher who's teaching renewable energy to her students. It could be a variety of people that might have interest or need for this information. So you can share the link that way. You can also share it directly through your drive. So the same way you share Google Slides or Google Docs, um, you can type in whoever you would like to send this to. It might be your teacher. Okay, so I'm not gonna share that with anyone right now. Then once you've enabled link sharing, you can also make it public for everyone on the internet to find. So I should be able to go to Google um, and type in Google Maps of wind turbines or something along those lines, and my map will be there. It might not be on page one, but that's kind of the benefit of having um, a link to share so that you can really target whatever specific audience you're looking to target. Um, and then you can close that. And then your project is essentially complete. So what completes this project is that you have served your purpose, which is to get out assistance and guidance for homeowners and business owners in transitioning to wind energy or whatever renewable energy you chose to study for this project. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, I encourage you to really play around with it. I just really touched the surface here for what you can do with Google Maps. So um, if you have the time and the interest and the energy, please do that. Mess around with it a little bit. There's some really cool features that you can add. Good luck.